Hello, everybody. Welcome to Broadway.com's Live at Five. It is Monday, April 8th. I'm Beth Stevens. And I'm Andy Lefkowitz. And we're here in the studio with Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. And we're here with such a fun little yes. nugget. Yes. We have Tony nominee Sarah Stiles Woo! here from Tootsie. Yay. Woo! We're going to talk to Sarah in a second, but first, our top five. Congratulations are in order because theater's biggest night happened across the pond. I don't know if it's theater's biggest <laughs> night. Caitlin. It's across London the theater's po- biggest London, night. London, London yes. theater. <laughs> so yesterday were the Olivier Awards, which honors the best in London theater. Uh, the event was held at the Royal Albert Hall yesterday fancy, evening. Very fancy. Yes, very fancy. So the winners were Come From Away, taking home the award for best new musical. All right. Uh, Mary and Elliot's gender blind production of Company won Best Revival of a Musical. Patti Lapone won an Olivier for her turn as Joanne in that production. And deserved it 100% well deserved. in my opinion. Yes, totally. Uh, the Inheritance, which is Matthew Lopez's new two-part play, took home the award for Best Play. Um, you can take, out, take a look at the full slate of winners on the site. Yes. And a new green girl is flying into Broadway. You know what's awesome? Making your Broadway debut as Elphaba on Broadway. I think it's that's pretty, cool. pretty splashy. We're talking about Hannah Corneau, who will make her debut as Elphaba on May 14th. And she's replacing Jessica Vosk, who will play her last performance on May 12th. Um, Hannah was Yitzhak in the national touring production of Hedvig. Yes. I like to say it properly. Hedvig and the Angry Inch. And she appeared off Broadway in Daddy Long Legs, uh, Ren- Renaissance. Am I saying it correctly? That's correct. Yeah. And Ethel sings the unsung song of Ethel Rosenberg. Obviously, she has a pair of pipes on her, and uh, we'll see her in May. And it's kind of uh, rare that someone makes their Broadway debut as Alpha, but oftentimes actresses start on the tour and then yes. end up on Broadway. So this is exciting to see her Very kind of special. kick off the role on The Great White Way. Mm-hmm. And magic is coming to Broadway. Yeah, so this is kind of cool. We found out another performer who's set to take part in the In Residence on Broadway series. So this is a bunch of music and other types of artists who are going to make their home at the Lunt Fontan Theater this summer for limited engagements. So Chris Angel, who's known for his Masters of Illusion, um, <laughs> like he's a magician, <laughs> yeah. Um, he's going to play a run at the Lunt Fontan from July 2nd to 7th. Um, he joins a lineup that includes... This is quite a lineup. Yeah, it's quite a lineup. <laughs> Morrissey, Yanni, and... Or Yanni. Re- Yanni, okay. And or re- Laurel. Or Laurel, <laughs> Everyone's yeah. made the joke. Hey. Everyone's made that joke. I'm totally. just repeating. That was good. That was and good. Uh, Regina Spector as well. And I think there's still one more to come. So uh, be sure to check out these artists this summer. Very yeah, it's very eclectic. <laughs> very eclectic. And she has got a lot to do about everything. Oh, this, we're all psyched oh for this. God. We're talking so about excited. much ado about nothing at Shakespeare in the Park this summer at the Delacorte Theater. And Danielle Brooks, Tony nominee Danielle Brooks, will uh, be starring... Are you excited? You're yes. very excited. Uh, l- this goes from May 21st through June 23rd. Mm-hmm. And it, let me tell you who else is in this. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm so ready. ready. Oh, if you don't Let's know who do Danielle it. Brooks is, but I know you do. She played Sophia in The Color Purple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She played Tasty on Orange is the New Black. The cast also includes Chuck Cooper, Grantham Coleman, Jeremy Harris, Eric LeRae Harvey, and more. Are we excited or what? Very yeah. excited. I just love her. Very. And I'm excited to see her do Shakespeare. She can do anything. And I'm excited for Shakespeare in the Park, period. Always. I it's love always it. It's always just the like best. why we all live in New York oh, City. I'm so pumped. It's true. And more big names are heading to D.C. Yeah, so we got full casting today for the Kennedy Center's weekend-long production of The Who's Tommy. Um, this is going to be a star-packed production. Some of the new cast members include Tony nominee Charles Brown, who you might have remembered from Motown. One Incredible of our performance. vloggers. One of our <gasps> vloggers. Look at that. Miracle Man. Yes. Uh, Michael Kilgore is also in the cast. Taylor Iman Jones, mm-hmm. Hudson Levero, and a whole slate of new folks. Uh, they join the previously announced principal cast members, Casey Cott as Tommy, Mandy Gonzalez as Mrs. Walker, Wesley Taylor as Cousin Kevin, Manu Narayan as Uncle Ernie, and two-time Tony winner Christian Borrell as Captain Walker. So check out this production at the Kennedy Center from April 24th to 29th. Mm-hmm. Awesome. All right. 
Thank you. Oh, you let's, tell, let's tell oh, you what yeah. else is on the site. Yeah. We had a big old opening last night yes. with Oklahoma. Yes, we did. Okay. I feel like I have to always say okay. okay. <laughs> uh, so we have pictures. We have a red carpet challenge. We have an on-the-scene video. We are just soaking in Oklahoma, the musicals, yes. the revival. A really uh, innovative and acclaimed production. Yes. Uh, starring Rebecca Naomi Jones and Damon Dono. Mm -hmm. uh, check that out. And Andy, thank you. Yeah, you bet it. We're about to welcome the one and only Sarah Stiles. Caitlin, will you tell us about our guest, please? Yes, gladly. Yes, we have Sarah Stiles in the studio with us here today. She's currently appearing in Tootsie on the Broadway, which officially opens on April 23rd. It is currently in previews. She earned a Tony nomination for her work in Hand to God, and her other Broadway credits include Avenue Q, the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, On a Clear Day You Can See Forever. Um, she's also been, you've seen her on your TV screen a bunch, I'm sure, because she's in Billions, she's in Get Shorty, My Astronaut, a whole lot more. Follow her on social media at Lulu Bell Styles. <laughs> Make sure you get it. If you type in Sarah Styles, it won't be there. Lulu Bell Styles. Get it right. Leave your questions in the comments below. And please welcome Sarah and Beth. Thank you, Caitlin. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Miss Lulu Bell Styles. <laughs> I brought you a present. Oh. Oh, <gasps> ladies and gentlemen. Come for you too. It's a Tootsie Roll. <laughs> Tootsie is on the Broadway right now. Thank you very yeah, much you're for welcome. that. That was really special. <laughs> I'll share with you. That's no, good. Thank Kyle, you so much. Kyle, I'm going to throw you a Tootsie roll. Okay, cool. <laughs> he caught um, it. He did get well, He's very talented. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a fun musical. Lots of laughs. And you play Sandy. Yeah. Now, if you remember the movie, that, that role was played by Terry Garr, who basically came on screen and had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Hilarious nervous <laughs> breakdown. And she you was so to brilliant, do that. brilliant, she was brilliant. Fantastic. This is a totally reimagined idea of the show. It's not, what, it's not Tootsie from 1982. It's very different. Yeah, it is. And you yeah. get to f fully break down in song. Yeah, and yeah, a lot of different kinds of breakdowns. More than once, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me how it's going over there. It's great. We're in, you know, we're doing the preview thing. So we're, I was in rehearsal all day today, we're getting new changes, and we're still doing that. We're going to be tweaking and fixing things and making it perfect for you guys. <laughs> and Sandy is your quintessential insecure actress. Yeah. Do you relate? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> yes, <laughs> duh, of course. It's like, it's so fun to be able to, uh, live all of she's so extreme that like it's it's really fun to just totally go there like completely have a tantrum and a nervous fully breakdown. fall apart because that's what it feels like inside but I don't <laughs> always do it keep it together yeah I try to keep it together <laughs> she has a lot of tantrums actually she does yeah she, she really does. lets it go yeah um, we have a special announcement do you want to tell the people oh yeah well, what, what, what do I call it you call it the newest Broadway.com vlogger Ooh. Is Miss Sarah Styles? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. The name of the vlog is "What's Gonna Happen." Look up wash, hashtag "What's Gonna Happen" because what's your big song? I know it's gonna happen, but we don't with the vlog. We don't know so, what's gonna happen with that vlog backstage. <laughs> I think it's pretty appropriately named. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are gonna get to see Sarah for eight weeks in a row on Broadway.com, starring starting next week, yes, the April sixteenth, yeah. Tuesday. There's a lot going on. There's we'll a go lot through going opening. On. It's gonna be awesome. Check the, it out. Through all the things. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about your cast. You have one of the nicest group of people I've ever met. They're such wackos, just <laughs> lovable, wonderful, hilarious, talented people. Yeah, it's been um, it's been such a wonderful journey with them, and I I am we all feel very lucky to be together and be able to do this for a while. We hope for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to ask you the hard hitting questions. Yeah. I'm known okay. For. Yeah. Do Can it. We talk about the hair. Oh, my, my own hair? Your hair. Yeah. So what, what do you want to know? You're not wearing a wig <laughs> in this show. No. No. So, so you've seen pictures of Sarah Styles, perhaps, uh, or you're about to, as Sandy and yeah. Tootsie, and she's got a wild mop of curls, yeah. and it's not a wig. No, and it's na it, that's my natural hair. Like, for hand to God, I blew it out every night. Oh, okay. Because in I hand know. to God, it was a little straighter. This is well, the a, lot straighter. a lot yeah. straighter. Yeah. Yeah. And no, darker. And you, right, yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's not natural. But. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I told you it's hard hitting term. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. If you want to know my product list, just you know stay tuned to the vlog. DM me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna take your questions. I'm sure you have them. Yes. I'm sure Kaylin's scrolling through. I'm a scroller. Oh, I mean, you find any good ones? A you lot got some of good, good ones? ones. Okay. We got some good ones. <laughs> okay. So Scott says that you have fantastic you have great com comedic timing and delivery, but what would your dream dramatic role be? Oh, I don't know. You know what? I feel like 
I don't ever think about it in terms of comedy <laughs> and drama. Mm. So like for me, this is sort of this is a very dramatic role that I'm playing. Mm-hmm. And she's taking it just, seriously. Yeah, yeah. Ha- happened We're to find it funny. At yeah, her, not with her. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, I I, I loved uh, Hand to God was great because mm-hmm. I got to it, that had a lot of both. Mm-hmm. So, do you, you know, ha- so some people have told us in the Hand to God family mm-hmm. that they have a Tyrone at home. Oh yeah. Do you? Uh, no. no. Okay. That's scary. a satanic That's puppet. So scary. <laughs> Too scary. Yeah. No, I do have um, a Jolene in the bathroom of my dressing room. But it's not the puppet. It's this very awesome fan art that's like embroidered. It's so cool. I'll take a picture. I'll, okay, I'll yeah. Well, we're going to yeah, get really intimate with <laughs> Yeah, you actually, after. you are. You're totally <laughs> going to see it. You're totally going to see it on that blog. Between Hand to God and Avenue Q, you've had a lot of experience with puppets. Uh, yes, and a lot of a lot puppets. of puppet sex. Just a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need to go into details, do we? Do, I don't know. I mean, we can. Yeah, you can. It's, it's um, I miss those days. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope there's another play in my future with puppet sex in and it. And that would done, really—they're not done tweaking Tootsie, so you never know. You <laughs> never know. Sandy would definitely, yeah. She would. She's had a lot of odd jobs because <laughs> they aren't acting jobs, and right. yeah, That's maybe amazing. maybe a puppeteer was in there somewhere. She does a lot of kids' birthday parties. I'm sure she's handled pu- puppets before. Not maybe not that intimately, but yes. Well, well oh, yeah, true. you don't know. She's nuts. <laughs> she's crazy. <laughs> Well, actually, this kind of goes with a question that we got. Well, Michael wants to know is because you did Avenue Q and you did Hand to God, did you work with puppets like in school? Did you ever like have a class about puppeteering? Do you have an or? MFA in puppetry? No, I don't. <laughs> and I wasn't ever really that into them. You know, like some people yeah. were super into Muppets and all that. I, I wasn't. So mm-hmm. I don't know how it sort of, it, weirdly, the first time I ever used a puppet was that in Dr. Doolittle, the Tommy Toon tour. Does anyone remember that I little nugget? That <laughs> Very long you time ago. A, tell, tell us the story of Dr. Doolittle a little Do, bit. Go ahead, tell us. I don't even... I mean, your story, not the story. My show. story? I mean, I, I got that tour. They ended up giving me a puppet, this uh, parrot puppet, and they didn't know how to use it. It was sort of like the puppets were inherited from another production, mm. so it was on this cast that didn't fit my arm, and like... It was sort of like plopped in my arm and they just were like, figure it out. And I remember just being in the, in the dressing room being like, how does this work? I'm going to figure out how to make you that funny. I don't know. But that was my first puppet experience and then it just kept going. Snowballed. Yeah, Snowballed so weird. <laughs> totally weird. That's so great. So Nicolette, oh, this is also a full circle because we're talking about Shakespeare in the Park during oh, the news. Yeah. So people would like to know, Nicolette would like to know what was it like performing Into the Woods in, in the park? You were so good. Thank you. That was Little the Red dreamiest. I really loved everything about that mm. production. Um, well, and you got to work with some people. We've got Donna Murphy and Amy Adams. Je- yeah, and Jesse Mueller and everybody. Dennis O'Hare. Everybody, yeah. every, everyone in it was just so talented and amazing. And I think the funnest part about it was that the, the, our set was actually like the woods. Yeah. So, you and get it lost rained in it. a lot that summer. So we were just constantly coming back to the dressing room at the end of the night, head to toe mud. Just like covered, everyone had to take showers. At the, you would find dirt in places that you did not. <laughs> it was not supposed to be. So mm. that was like, but that's was so fun. It felt like, I don't know. It felt like a, we were a theater army, and we were like in boot camp and just like rolling on the ground and getting muddy and yeah, it was awesome. I don't know who you were battling though. Maybe the raccoons. Totally the raccoon. <laughs> well, because they were, the animals were famous. so confused. <laughs> so there were more animals than usual on our set. Because it was like part of Central yeah. Park. Yeah, and there was one. There was one part when Amy was singing "Moment in the Woods." I couldn't make it off stage because you could see you could see me leaving. So they just had me like tuck behind this tree. So I was on stage with you know, but they, nobody could see me. And there would be I'm not kidding you. Every other night, animals. <laughs> at me and I would be there with my like little red riding hood dagger <laughs> and the baby and just being like back off <laughs> like I mean it was it was intense that could, be, was a, that could be like a, a secondary be... like an offshoot of the musical <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> backstage with little red that could be yeah. its own little thing <laughs> oh my gosh okay so Jenny wants to know what drew you to wanting to do Tootsie and what was your road to 
joining what the was cast. Your tootsie history? M- my history with Tootsie, I did um, a reading of another musical that Scott was directing, and it was like Scott a Ellis, th- Scott Ellis. Scott Ellis, and it was like a three day thing, and I'd never worked with him before, and we had a really fun time doing that. And he said at the end of it, I have something for you. I'm going to be contacting your people. I, I, there's something I think you'd be great at. And I was like, well, yeah, okay, whatever. I'm <laughs> sure he's never going to call. But and but he did. And within a couple of months, I got the offer to do the reading of Tootsie. Um, and by that point, Santino and Andy and John Bellman, Reg, Julie, there were a lot of people that were already sort of like established and I had done a bunch of the readings. And so I got there and very... It, again, it was one of those, like, I think I rehearsed for three hours. I mean, it was really quick, and then we just read through it, and it felt great. Um, and then, like, within the month, I was getting a phone call from my manager and agent saying that they had offered me wow. the out-of-town and the Broadway. And I was like, they're doing an out-of-town and a Broadway? I, I didn't even know it was happening, and I thought they were punking me. And then <laughs> I said to them, once I realized they were being serious, I fully in Sandy mode you can tell why I play this role I went wait a minute but it's like an it's like a year from now are you sure that they're sure that they want to commit to me because they really haven't looked very hard I mean there's probably a lot of other don't they want to audition people just make sure that was my it was so ridiculous (laughs) thank god they did it what's your history (laughs) with the movie had you the, seen the movie? I had, but I haven't seen it in a really long time, and I didn't want to go back and look because Terry Gar is so amazing in that movie, and it's a very, we're doing really different things. It's and very I, different. Yeah, yeah, and I just didn't, I, I don't know. First of I, all, let's talk about the differences. It, yeah. It's set now in yeah. 2019. Yeah. So it's contemporary, and the women have a more contemporary sensibility. Yeah, yeah. And it, I mean, listen, it's, a lot has changed in what is 37 years since right. the movie came out. So we are um, we're we're playing to a totally different audience, and we've got to we have to speak to the people that are there. And it's not a soap opera like it is in the movie yeah. that they're working on. It's, it's a musical. A musical. Yeah. It's yeah. And the role of Julie Nichols is very different. Just right, that's yeah. Lily Cooper's role. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's um it's it's cool. I think the changes are great, and there's some. Uh, some surprises and like the, there's some things that didn't happen in the movie that do happen in our show that I think are really cool and that and Terry Gard just it. came on on screen and kind of fell apart and then you didn't know what happened to her but we ha- you have more yeah you get to more find stuff out. going on yeah totally yeah. totally and she she learned some things I think like I really She's think more she, of an arc to yeah, yeah yeah it's cool I love that all right we have time <laughs> for a couple more questions yes so Mary says she sees that it's being it's ever all it's being marketed as a comedy musical, yes. not a musical comedy. Can yeah. you speak on that a little bit? Well, the book is insane. It's so good, and mm. Robert Horn has just... It, it's like a Neil Simon play, and then there's also just amazing Yazbek music in it, too. It's just... It's definitely... The book scenes really feel like scenes from a, a play, and you don't always get that in musicals. And it's not mm. so much the Larry Gelbart screenplay. It's oh, it's different. not. Yeah. It, yeah, it's not, but, it, but it, there's... Uh, that was a great screenplay, mm-hmm. and Robert, for sure, it's a like a love letter to hit that writing as well. Mm-hmm. If it really feels like they come from the same world, so it's it's very it's satisfying. A comedy musical, it's a new genre. <laughs> yeah, comedy first, musical second. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. Don't tell David Yazbek that; he might not like. I that. know. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I love that. So his songs be, are pretty funny, though. That's true. So Always, there you go. Though. Always. That's his thing. <laughs> okay, this one will be our last question. <laughs> Taylor says, hey, Sarah, I got to see the show twice in Chicago. <gasps> Way to go, Taylor. Yay. With such a complicated solo song, how like how do you prep yourself for it? How do you get in the headspace to ha- kind of get into that big moment? Um, honestly, I have to have a lot of PT. It's mm. the weirdest thing because I thought that um, this <laughs> this role was going to be a piece of cake because I don't have a ton of stage time. But when I am on stage, it is just it's full intense out. and full out. And that song in particular, the way it's written, there is no time to breathe. Mm-hmm. So you have to be breathing from up here. You can't take a full breath. It's actually impossible. Um, so all of these muscles have like so clenched. It's actually up like, like having a panic attack. No, it's stage. it's... <laughs> It's actually very hard to do physically, yeah. weirdly. Because it's very fast. Very fast, yeah. Lots of words. Lots of words. And just, um, you know, I've the physicality that I bring to my Sandy is I can't help it. It's just my shoulders are just like 
in my ears. I'm trying to, um, get, you know, when I'm off stage, I'm really like really trying to bring it down. So I guess that's how I, I prep just um, taking care of my body. You have a full on bed in your dressing room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's I napping. love napping. There's power napping going on. <laughs> I love to nap. Yeah. I'm going to do World that as napping. soon as this is over. I'm going to go nap before the show tonight. <laughs> well, Sarah, thank you so much for thank coming you. in. You guys, check out the vlog called What's Gonna Happen. What's Gonna Happen. Starting on Tuesday the 16th for eight whole weeks of <laughs> Tootsie deliciousness. And uh, thanks for the Tootsie roll. You're welcome. Will you take us out, Caitlin? Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single day on Facebook. You can listen to us wherever you get your podcasts by searching for hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in the rest of the week because we got some great guests like Orfe, Neil Huff, and more.